We all graduate eventually. Even if we've never made it through school, there is always a chance to say you passed at life even if you failed many times to reach that goal. This is where we see Vocaloid jump into the mix. I'm trying something new today. Since I've gotten skits for Tuesdays, I'm going back to my original standing of jumping right on in to the list of top 10 graduation Vocaloid songs. Get your diploma, because here we go. <laughs> Number 10, Tomorrow by Hydrosmir. With a piano and a vast array of vocaloids singing in tandem with each other, this ballad is perfectly reminiscent of a school dedication song for graduation. As such, that's the main point of the song. I love the perfect conceptualization of soprano and alto sounds between certain vocaloids, including the bass of the male vocaloids. This chorus is a perfect listen if you want to cry at how boring or saddening your graduation was or will eventually be. I hope that ice cream you're devouring doesn't give you a tummy ache, though. This video was produced by Hydro Summer. Thank you for watching. Number 9 Cherry Blossom Rain by Haliosi is and absorb. What kind of name is that? A standard video with a heartfelt song. This tune is one with the trees because it's nearly seven minutes long. Ooh. This one tells of a story between a student and his whole entire school life up until his graduation and his remembrance of the events that led up to this point. A nice song with tons of real life pictures that will give you a possible panic attack out of all of the feels it leaves on your soul. Or am I just the only one? Number 8, A Journey to Tomorrow, not to be confused with number 10, by Kamiyan P. Oh, okay, this song is five minutes long too. I wonder why graduation songs are so long. 
Either way, this one is very much like the previous ones in a key that gives you the feeling of memories and happy times long gone. And possibly a tearjerker since Miku is also crying in this one. I guess it's just a matter of time before we all graduate and move on to where everyone is married and has kids while you're just sitting here making YouTube videos. Nothing beats a jelly-filled demo, am I right? Uh -uh, mm -hmm. You right! Number 7. My Graduation. Not to be confused with my graduation. Kubai Kuroda, a scene. Starting off, I can hear the graduation music of a famous song I forgot the name to. But it's a classical piece many schools use for graduation anyway. That's all I know right now because I'm writing the script. My internet is down and I can't do anything like look up the lyrics. Hmm. This song combines the chorus of number 10 and transforms it into another rendition of a graduation song where we see the vocal girls cry. I don't like seeing people cry, okay, even if they're not real. You know what, well, that's debatable if Miku and the vocal girls are real or not. But they all go together and further into the distance and find a reason to stay together, even if after all of the turmoil and fun times they've had during the school times. It's just a lot of times. There's a lot of feels and times and memories, okay? Jeez, old. Number six, Afterglow by Jimmy Thumpy. Animation is gorgeous as always. With a story uh, so intrinsic of Japanese society, it actually hurts to watch it almost. The main character is an artist going through tons of self-depression. Well, just depression in general, just depression, I don't know. The more he creates, the more he finds himself lost without knowledge on what to do. The art center in school was his saving grace until he met a girl who inspires him to create his masterpiece. Which just turns out to be a vandalism and the first smile he has in a long time comes when he marks his own diploma with a large red X. Symbolizing exactly what school felt to him and me, and thousands of other people. Wow, so that's how artists leave pranks at the end of their school days. I wish I did that, that'd be awesome. Just paint the whole entire school. Hopefully not red. That's, okay, no, not going to do that. Not, not going to joke about that, that is bad. No. -uh. Number five, Graduation Song. There's a lot of graduations in these titles. By Bell Project. 
yet another six minute song with a chorus of vocaloids. Wow, graduation is a fantastic weight that carries in on the vocaloid community, doesn't it? This is amazing that this list has so many songs so much the same. I'm not sure what else to say except to just keep talking. I, well, I will say that I am not sure if all the vocaloids in the picture are voices in the song. So there's that. You know, I don't know what else to say about this song other than it's a graduation song and you can play it along with the rest of the previous songs and the coming songs up above. But... Picking up and coming songs. Number four, graduation photo. Now, this one has an unknown artist. Ever have one of those songs that even your sources say that they have no idea where the heck it came from? Well, this is one of those. Ironically, this song uses Kagamine Lin's serious, a pen set. And it's really soft and somber to the core of the piano's notes. It sounds almost sad, honestly. Although, this song is rather short, so I'll leave it here. Number 3, Graduation Memory by Nora. Finally some rock! We finally have the guitar sounds I crave. For some reason, it skips from one reality to another, the first one showing a set of friends, but then go into a class full of vocaloids. This song is also has a set of vocaloids that are used, of course, with the whole theme of the video. This middle segment is my favorite part, of course, with all of the Vocaloids having fun and BY2 being moody schmoody over there as ever. But after that, it goes into another reality where all of the characters lose that main character hairstyle. I, I guess it's a metaphor attributing all of their friendships as Vocaloids, and it's plainly obvious here. But all in all, a gorgeous rocking song to end the school. At that's another weird way to say graduation, I'm sorry. Number two, Graduation by Athena Z. A 
kind of sad yet emotionally uplifting. We follow a girl who struggles with the natural struggles with school, but then goes into full-on powerhouse taking her life in her own hands to find the right path after graduation. Everyone knows the fear of failing so much that they get pains in their chest, and I have to say that either else I'm worried, I get worried that I might have a heart condition. No matter what she wants to do, she'll do it no matter what anyone says. And that's the perfect way to go, because you'll always find someone who agrees. I mean, I've been doing this before graduation high school, okay? There's nothing saying you can't find your way before graduating, so <laughs> there you go. Okay, I may have had a little problem talking about the interlude stuff. Okay, now there's a video on the next, right next to this video, that will exp that will go down the whole thing about what I did to this, in this butchered this interlude. Okay, so the point was, uh, YouTube has denied me monetization because I broke a lot of rules on a lot of top 10 videos and a lot of everything else. And the only way you can support me is by either donating to my PayPal, or on Patreon, or buying Teespring shirts, or from various affiliate links from Amazon. Or you can go to my website and just click on ads. No, don't do that. That's against the rules. I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, so you can go check that video out. It's long. It's, it's very angry. And it's also kind of sad, too, if you think about it. But I will say this that I'm just gonna jump right on into number one. There we go. Number one, My Colorful Confuse by Takahashi Yo. Well, apparently, going so freakishly fast and very reminiscent of the song with that wickedly weird name by Mumbo Dead Behind the House P, I think, or something. It was weird. And this song is definitely strong in its weirdness. <laughs> oh, there's a pun here all out already. If you ever want to see Gumi like a character from Fist of the North Star, uh, here's your chance. On graduation day, she's late and turns into that thing and begins to go through a Mega Man routine of fighting certain characters completely made up and ultimately weird. Did I mention memes? Memes everywhere. And I never want to see this side of Gumi again, especially with her chin is bigger than my torso. Great song too though, really brings out the Hulk in the green vocaloid. Uh, I get it. Never mind. <laughs> So, how did you like the list? I I'm just still sad about the interlude thing. So, I'm just gonna end it here. You can go check that out. That was a long talk. So, if you want more vocal audio gaming content, then press that subscribe button. And if you want to see more of a, a top tens, then go ahead and click the like button as well. I think you'll come back. I know you'll come back for some more top tens. Vocaloid top tens. Be kind of weird if I put top. 10 controllers to use in the microwave. 
I don't know. But I will say this. You can help me by donating to my PayPal down below. Down below. PayPal.me. And also get... Go to the video in the link in the description. Because... That's just a lot of heartfelt stuff going through my mouth and into your soul. If not, YouTube filter it. I don't know. So, catch it next time.